Today, India attempts a milestone from home soil, launching its heaviest communication satellite to GTO on the Bahubali LVM-3. What does CMS-03 actually do, and why is this launch historic? CMS-03 is a multi-band communication satellite, about 4,400-4,010 kilo, headed to geosynchronous transfer orbit on the LVM-3M5 rocket from SDSC Sriharikota. If successful, it will be the heaviest commsat ever launched to GTO from Indian soil. Heavier Indian commsats like GSAT-11, 5,154 kg, were previously launched abroad on foreign rockets. CMS-03 marks India's capability to place very heavy commsats to GTO from India on its own heavy lift rocket. It is built to provide communication coverage over the Indian landmass and a wide oceanic region, supporting TV broadcast, broadband data links, and strengthening communications for disaster management and maritime areas. LVM-3 is ISRO's heavy lift vehicle, the same family that launched Chandrayaan-3. Today's mission, LVM-3-M5, injects the satellite into GTO. The spacecraft then raises itself to geostationary orbit. Target transfer orbit is roughly 170 km x 29 inches 970 km. After separation, CMS-03 fires its onboard propulsion across multiple burns to circularize near the 35,786 km over the equator. Ground control then deploys antennas, runs in orbit tests, and hands the satellite over for service. ISRO already flew very heavy commsats, but from foreign spaceports when mass exceeded India's GTO capability. CMS-03 demonstrates LVM-3's matured performance and reduces reliance on foreign launches for similar class payloads. Expect multi-band links that help television, broadband backhaul, emergency communications, and maritime connectivity around India. For viewers, better resilience for comms, and more capacity for underserved regions. This is a GTO ComSat mission, not a human flight, so public safety risks are minimal and tightly range controlled. Tracking, telemetry and flight termination systems are standard. Watch ISRO's live stream for ignition, staging, fairing jettison, orbit insertion, and spacecraft separation. First orbit raising and deployment updates follow in the next days. If you could fund the next big step, where would you invest? More LVM-3 performance, next-gen commsats, or human-rated LVM-3 for Gaganyaan? Vote in the poll, 
drop your questions, and subscribe for the post-launch breakdown.